Arthur Goldreich in latter years revisiting South Africa, the land he helped to free. Tributes call him a romantic revolutionary. As a child, he was a fighter. He he was a um, his uh, his commitment, I think, to uh, to injustice in the world was very powerful from a very young age, very young age. Uh, so I think the point is that, I, in, in, again, I, I'll make the same point. I think it shows him. Surely he was one of the few whites to break ranks in the struggle against apartheid. It cost him his home and his family. He was the white front of Lillisley Farm in Ravonia near Johannesburg. Here, activists from the underground like Nelson Mandela, Governor Birki and Ahmed Kathrada hid out. Arthur Goldreich and his family helped protect them by posing as landed gentry. When Arthur used to walk around in jodhpurs, and riding gloves, you know, horse riding gloves, playing this role. But they were sitting on a keg of dynamite. That could put them in prison forever and ruin their kids' lives as well. That takes courage. Arthur Goldreich was arrested here, along with the leadership of the underground, by police in 1963. So I drove in and very carefully, because everything seemed to be too quiet. And then from behind the trees on the way down, special branch people came out and policemen and so on. And it was like a B-grade movie, you know, hands up, right? He escaped from police cells and fled to Botswana disguised as a priest. He spent many years in London and settled in Israel to work as an academic, where he died aged 82.